Hey everyone, this is John Roca for Collider with one of my idols, number one idols since uh, since the first Rocky movie. That is Sylvester Stallone with this new uh, film, Rambo Last Blood. Uh, I can't tell you, I want to tell you as a serviceman, I served eight years. Mm. Thank you so much for this character of John Rambo. He has stood for so much in the military and What's so interesting about this film, too, is you don't shy away from the PTSD with him, and you also don't shy away from the brutality once the turn happens. And I want to ask you about that. No, I want to, I'm, I'm glad yeah. you did, because it, it's, very, it's very tempting to go, I had a few more PTSD scenes, mm -hmm. and I said, am I hitting this too hard? I mean, I, I think people get it without pounding at home. Same mm -hmm. thing with the girl. We had a lot more brutal scenes where, where she Her experience, yeah. taken advantage of. Yeah. And I went, uh, you know, I can see the point where people are starting to, this is too real. Yeah. The one thing I did not want to uh, uh, water down at all is the violence. Because I think violence, when it's, people don't really, really see violence, true violence, the aftermath of, of a, a hatchet attack mm -hmm. or this and that. And when you have a character like Rambo, who has lost everything, yeah. and now he's gone into this, I don't even think there's a name for it, it's almost a feral, savage, primordial, where mm. there's no conscience left. As a matter of fact, he wants to desecrate the body. Death is not good enough for you. For you. I mean, the, right. it's too easy. And war, when people, when you're hit flush with a 50 millimeter, you don't exist anymore. Yet I see so many of these films where a knife in the stomach, I go, oh, and dies. Yeah. I could throw 30 knives in your stomach, and you, as you know, right. I've talked to Navy SEALs. I go, how many times have you stabbed the guy? He goes, I, I confronted a fellow, we were coming through the door, we went face to face. I stabbed him over 44 times, wow. and he didn't die, and he only weighed 150 pounds. I eventually, I had to shoot him, and I, I keep thinking, man, it's not easy yeah. to kill a man. Yeah. And he wants to stay alive. That's quite a, that's quite a struggle. So no, I, I want to make it memorable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it certainly. <laughs> no, I really is. do. Not not overly sensational, but mm -hmm. Rambo, when he, when he kills, he he, he leave, It's like a trademark. It's oh, like, yeah. I'm gonna. You, you're never gonna. You're never gonna come. You're never gonna recover. The people that ever see this, they're never gonna believe their eyes. You, you're just gonna understand what real savagery is. Yeah, it's 92 minutes of absolutely beautiful brutality and as a <laughs> fan of revenge films, you've taken revenge films almost to the next level with this one yeah. and you brought it back uh, a little bit more to the vibe of First Blood, which I imagine has something yeah. to do with the title. But yeah. What's interesting too is like this is a Rambo that's more proactive than we've seen him before and I wonder if this was a conscious decision by you because normally he has to be talked into You know, fighting. it's very astute you bring that up. People always think of Rambo as an aggressor. If anything, he's always in retreat. Oh, absolutely. Always. He's, mm -hmm. he's trying to avoid. He also, I never forget someone wrote a screenplay and how a Rambo, well, come on, in mm -hmm. the bar fight. I said, never. First of all, he would never fight a man face to face. That's right. not, that's, that's a different thing. He is a warrior. He's stealth. He's like an Indian. Right. He kills you when you're least expecting it. And that's that's what a real warrior does. The guy doesn't stand there and say, "Come on, butch guns or knives," you know. That's <laughs> right. a movie. That's right, the kind of thing. Right. But yeah, you, you're right. He brings it to it. One last question. I know we got to wrap oh, up. Too bad. Uh, any last uh, thoughts about Rocky Balboa? Are we going to see Rocky Balboa again? I'm that's right my, on the cusp there. I really have a good story. It's whether, mm, yeah, you know, it's it's Rocky. The see the thing is Rocky outside. I'm I'm probably done with Creed. I am done with Creed. Okay. Yeah. That's that's. There's nothing more I can do there. Okay. But, but yeah, that fist bump was the end. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty much right? it. Like, <laughs> ciao. <laughs> uh, but I have I have a thing that we really, it's politically, um, uh, uh, we would say, uh, uh, vital right now. Oh. It's 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 that too. It's it's, it's right on the edge. Also, it deals also with a foreign country, you know. And, well, you've heard a little bit about it, and they want it badly. Okay. Yeah, and it's like, oh, should I do this? Because Rocky, making a Rocky film, and when people, like Michael goes, I want to direct Creed, I go, think very carefully about this. Yeah. Because you will now have two years of no life. Right. And no guarantee it's going to be a hit. And if you don't find 
I was blessed three times mm -hmm. with Mr. T, Carl Weathers, and Dolph. These are so rare. I cannot tell you, John, how hard it is to find someone. I can get Big Bear, the huge men, but some of that visually, mm -hmm. you go, he doesn't have to say a word. I get it. Right. I'm terrified <laughs> I wouldn't get in that ring. Or Carl Weathers, there's no better film fighter as a boxer than Carl Weathers. Yeah. It's, if you had, I have some 40 minutes of him, you know, with eight millimeter. It's a miracle, you know, he's not a boxer. Yeah. It was, I said, thank God I found this guy. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Yeah, well, I think you caught lightning in a bottle with this film as well, with Last thank Blood. You. I'm looking forward to seeing the people's reaction to it because I absolutely loved it. That's Sylvester Stallone, I'm John Roca. This is a life highlight for Collider. Go yeah. see Last Blood.